The Zebra Storyteller by Spencer Holtz Once upon a time, there was a Siamese cat who pretended to be a lion and spoke inappropriate to break. The language is whined by the race of striped horses in Africa. Here now, an innocent zebra is walking in a jungle, and approaching from another direction is the little cat. They meet. Hello there, says the Siamese cat, and perfectly pronounced to break. It certainly is a pleasant day, isn't it? The sun is shining, the birds are singing. Isn't the world a lovely place to live today? The zebra is so astonished at hearing a Siamese cat speaking like a zebra while he's just fit to be tied. So the little cat quickly ties him up, kills him, and drags the better part of the carcass back to his den. The cat successfully hunted zebras many months in this manner, dining on filet mignon of zebra every night, and from the better hides he made bow neckties and wide belts after the fashion of the dedicant princes of the old Siamese court. He began boasting to his friends he was a lion, and he gave them as proof the fact that he hunted zebras. The delicate noses of the zebras told them there was no real lion in the neighborhood. The zebras' deaths caused many to avoid the region. Superstitious, they decided the woods were haunted by the ghost of a lion. One day the storyteller of the zebras was ambling, and through his mind ran plots from four stories to his su amuse the other zebras, when suddenly his eyes brightened, and he said, That's it. I'll tell a story about a Siamese cat who learned to speak our language. What an idea. That'll make him laugh. Just then, the Siamese cat appeared before him and said, Hello there. Pleasant day, isn't it? The zebra teller wasn't fit to be tied at hearing a cat speaking his language, because he'd been thinking about the very thing. He took a good look at the cat and didn't know why, but there was something about his looks he didn't like. So he kicked him with his hoof and killed him. This is the function of the storyteller.